Quindaro, Kansas, a historic town nestled in Wyandotte County, graced the southern banks of the majestic Missouri River. Although the town now lies dormant, its legacy endures through the vibrant Quindaro neighborhood in the present-day Kansas City, Kansas. The settlement took root on the picturesque Quindaro Bend around 1850, strategically positioned opposite Missouri, a slave state. Its genesis coincided with the days of the Underground Railroad, transforming it into a crucial waypoint for those seeking freedom. The early inhabitants of the town embodied the resilience of the formerly enslaved, newly freed individuals, shaping the town's character. Abolitionists fueled by the spirit of freedom nurtured Quindaro into a free state port of entry, standing as the sole such river port in Kansas. The pier greeted the arrival of six steamboats daily, illustrating the burgeoning significance of this community. A large part of the daily operation of transporting goods and cargo across the river was the Quindaro Parkville Ferry, an indispensable resource that also functioned under the cover of night, transporting enslaved individuals to freedom. Navigating the Missouri River between Quindaro, Kansas and Parkville, Missouri, the ferry was operated by the Limecular family. The steamboat, ferried, the steamboat ferried them under the cover of darkness into the welcoming arms of freedom. The embarkation from Parkville was the last leg of an imaginably fearful and tumultuous journey to Kansas for those seeking refuge in a free state. In a brazen act of opposition to anti-slavery efforts in 1861, the pro-slavery forces in Missouri sank the ferry. Attempting to place a barrier in front of the freedom sought by their fellow human beings. Despite this setback, the resilience of the transfer boat operators pers persisted, maintaining the spirit of the Freedom Ferry in smaller vessels. In the winter of 1862, three years before this body would ratify the 13th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution abolishing slavery, a frozen Missouri River presented yet another challenge to those seeking freedom. So they walked across the frozen Missouri River in a desperate attempt to reach freedom or die trying. I take immense pride in the unwavering resilience exhibited by my ancestors as a quality that has paved the way for me to stand before you today with the extraordinary honor and privilege of being the first black person to represent Platt County and this historical account in this body. Happy Black History Month. Thank you, lady.